everybody. Welcome to my dealer build for Clockwork City. Uh, sort of delayed putting it out because I wanted to make sure I had the right setup. I don't like to put out videos. I'm not a professional YouTuber or anything like that, but I want to put out a video where I know there's something better. So, uh, we'll set up. We got 40.9k Max Magica, 18k health. That's a sweet spot. Magical recovery, 2500 again, perfect sweet spot. Spell damage at 2430, which is a lot higher than a lot of other healers I hear about trying to heal. Um, that is with spell power cure proc, which you should be healing yourself as well with it. Um, so very nice. Um, Atro Mundus, stage one vampire at the moment. So I'll get an extra 10% when I go back to stage four. For the skills, same skills as almost always. Um, the Breath of Life, Inner Light for the Max Magica, Healing Spring. We've got Combat Prayer, gives them the Minor Berserk. Very important. Keep that thing down every eight seconds. Um, and then Luminous Shards. So, finding Luminous Shards to be a lot better than Orbs, unless it's a healing and VSO. So, um, I actually double bar shards at the moment. So, um, if I need Purge, I just replace it on the front bar. Give me more max, uh, magic to region. You got channel focus. It gives you your spell resistance and physical resistance um, and recovers uh, magicka. It's basically 240 recovery a second. So, crazy amount. Uh, elemental drain, drop their defenses and minor magic steal. Um, 300 magicka every one second. You restore for your allies whenever they light attack. So, Make sure that's down at all times. Blockade of storms for the off balance. Drop the more lightning walls, the better. Uh, especially, um, you know, people are consuming them with heavy attacks and magic decays and everything like that. So, um, refuel retribution gives you a minor mending. So I can go through these real quick. Uh, just taking the passes as many as I can. I actually do need the burning light passes. Um, I don't have those performance and sky shards. Solar disturbance, just in case those are crap moments you need uh, damage mitigation. I have all those unlocked if I ever need them, except for Pansia. Panacea. Light armor, all those. And heavy. It's nice to have this extra 2% health. A rare and a one piece heavy. So, and then another 362. That's like 1% damage mitigation, by the way. Um, not a whole lot, but it adds, you know, it's, it's some. Mage's Guild. We got Inner Light. I'm leveling Structured Inner Feet um, for the max health. Just in case of fights where I need 20k health. Hard modes and things like that. I want to try to get into those. Uh, Undaunted. Got Undaunted Metal. Um, so, I'm not doing Undaunted Command. Very, very rarely do I need a synergy. And if I do, um, I don't take it because I save it for the DPS. Um, I, I don't need any kind of uh, uh This is mainly for VSO. Hard mode for Magicka Dump. Normal Hoff, VSO, NOS, all that stuff. I am a Breton. Looks pretty nice. I get a lot of defenses here. Spell resist, 3960, that's almost 10%. And then reduction, alchemy, you want to make sure you have medicinal use. That is a must. If you don't have it, go do it right now. Um, I think I use spider eggs, nern root, and a poison, and just level it up. It's really cheap with poison. <laughs> go over champion points. I got 75 blessed, 81 elf born. See a lot of people um, not use this as much as they should, I guess. Uh, every other one is a crit, so why not have it 24% stronger? I don't know. I've seen uh, people as low as like 40, crazy. Um, and then just a little bit of DPS, so I put 43 in Elemental Expert. With the CP that we're getting nowadays, um, healers can do a, little, a lot of damage. Not as well, obviously not as hot as a DPS, but I put 10 into Master at Arms. I 
anything just for this passive. I block a heavy attack, I do a 30% more damage. It's a little something. Um, I put 20 into Thaumaturge. Again, you're dropping a Lightning Wall, so none of those passives really do anything until you get up to the Explorer passive. Got 51 in Ironclad, 6 in Spell Shield, 64 Hardy, 43 LOE Defender, 66 Big Skin. This was a DSO setup, so I got a little bit more into Hardy than I normally do. None of the quick recovery like that. 40 into Warlord for break free. You can't, if you're not break free, you can't heal, so make sure you break free. 75 Tenacity, 75 Arcanist, 20 Shadow Ward, and 20 Tumbling. That's it. I hope you guys like my healer video. Um, give me a like, leave some comments. I like the feedback. Um, and you guys have a nice day. Thank you.